Welcome to today's Academy. I'm Zarathustra. I'm your host, broadcasting live from Los Angeles. And today, uh, topic, we're going to talk about sexuality, spirituality, um, and if we have time, we get into marriage. Um, I know this is a very sensitive subject, uh, topic to talk about. A lot of people, uh, they get very uncomfortable when you bring the word sex and they move around or they adjust themselves and um, it gets a little bit weird. But uh, it is uh, a part of uh, whether we like it or not or admit it or not, it's a very big factor of our lives. Uh, there's no escape from it. So, and I'm going to put some light on it because it's been in darkness um, throughout most of our history of humanity. And uh, it needs to be brought to the light. So, we may even need more than one um, academy to talk about it and get into the details of it and bring the light to this aspect of our lives, which is very, very important. Um, so I'm going to give you some ideas and, and uh, give you something to think about and ponder upon, and uh, we go from there. And you let me know. You're welcome to write to me and, uh, of your thoughts and your ideas and uh, we'll just go one step at a time. Let's just start from the basic of it. The very basis is that, I don't know, how many of you have heard the word Tantra? Yeah, Tantra. Okay. And so, Tantra and Tantra sexuality. Let's talk about the definition of Tantra. T tantra is is a Sanskrit Sanskrit work a uh, word, and tantra sexuality was practiced. It goes back to about fifteen thousand years ago. Uh, it's ancient, maybe even further back. But uh, there's tantric temples in India. They used to practice it. They were tantrika. They were priestesses and priests that both in India and in uh, ancient Egypt and also in Persian culture way back there has been priests and priestesses and if you do a little bit homework you're going to see that there's been temples and there's been mystery schools teaching Tantra and the today there is Tantra is being practiced but also it's kind of got diluted. So a lot of the practice is based on sex. So, uh, and it's kind of Tantra is coming back to life again, and it's being talked about or taught, but it's still not really being understood very well. So the very meaning of Tantra is and this is very important, you want to pay attention to this part. It's Tantra sexuality is divine oneness through the union of the two opposites. So let's pay attention to, the, to this definition. The divine oneness means when the two are merging into each other, so what it does is it creates divine oneness through the union of the two opposites. So, so let's say the man and the woman, they're merging into each other. And what happens is when you learn how to practice Tantra, Tantric sexuality, is being conscious, uh, the man and woman, they start by sitting cross-legged from each other and staring into each other's eyes. And once you're doing it with a partner 
and then you learn how to synchronize your breathing with each other. So you consciously synchronize uh, your breath with each other, and there is a t different kind of mantras that you can be using. And what it does is you're calling the name of God, and you are inviting the presence to come into your union with your partner. And as you are staring into each other's eyes and holding each other's hands and breathing in, and later on when you get intimate and you enter, you penetrate, and you are merging into each other to Tantra, what happens is when you're doing it correctly and you're breathing in and out together and your breath is synchronized as well as you are using uh, the um, different um, point of reference of the words of tantric uh, prayers and uh, meditation that you are doing simultaneously is that the idea is that for you and your partner to lose your separate identity into each other. So once you learn how to do this and you're doing it correctly, what happens is as you're merging into each other in this tantric union, is you lose your sense of separate individual being into the oneness. You lose yourself in the act of making love. And you cannot distinguish after a while whether you're the man or you're the woman, whether you're on the top, you're in the bottom, or if you are the bed or you're in a room, you will lose all senses of any separation. So you fall into complete oneness. And basically all you hear is, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, or wow. You hear things like that. You and your partner may be saying, but there is no subject and object. There won't be any more a man doing a woman or a woman doing a man. They lose themselves into the act and it becomes God. It becomes the one. That's why its definition is divine oneness through the union of the two opposites. So Tantra is basically when it was discovered and created is a form, a way of self-realization. It's a form of God realization. And it could be one of the fastest ways that you reach Godhead and you reach self-realization by losing your separate identity into the one and because naturally from childhood uh, from the time from the age we we go to puberty and we our hormone starts to change and our sexual urges begin to rise and sex becomes one of our major priorities and one of our major topics that is comes to your mind and it's hanging there and and a lot of us all we think about is having sex 